Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. In this video, I want to talk about the Sealox granulars. So I'm going to talk about them, tell you what they are, and I'm going to do a quick demonstration for you. Now this is the granular version here. They do have an applicator as well that you can buy uh, that has it already inside of it. I've done a video on that. It's really old, but I'll put an annotation here uh, for that one. And of course, they do have their gauze that's impregnated with the Sealox uh, chemical or uh, powder on there. So you can buy it either way, but this is just the granular powders here. It's really low profile, so it's not going to take up a lot of room in your first aid kit. Now this does have a hemostatic agent inside of it. This is basically from shellfish. Uh, and they say that they've had no reaction from people who are allergic to those things. People are like allergic to shrimp, lobster, shellfish. Uh, that there's no allergies, allergies associated with this. So if you're allergic to that kind of thing, we're using this as a moderate to severe bleeding. So you're using this for that life-threatening bleeding. So we can deal with the allergic reaction and anaphylaxis later if you do have that, but let's stop the bleeding. So something that you can be aware of, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. Now, where I think hemostatic agents work really well are for like axillary, like the armpit up in here, and then the groin as well. Now we don't, wound packing like that in the actual torso, but up here where the shoulder is, where you can't get a tourniquet up high enough to use it, it works really well for that. Same thing here, up on the hip, you know, if we can, can't get a tourniquet up high enough, the hemostatic agent works really well for that. So for this C-Lox here, we would pour this down the wound and put pressure. You're gonna put a lot of direct pressure. You can use galls, things like that, if you need to as well, just regular galls would work. And you're gonna hold pressure here for about three to five minutes. So when I say pressure, I'm talking about firm pressure, like you put all of your body weight onto this injury. Now, Sealock says their product works better than combat galls on patients who have, are on blood thinners, things like that. They have a clotting disorder. Sealock says their product works better, but that's coming straight from their mouth. So, but they do say it works better. All right, so here's our wound. Now this is gonna be simulating a moderate to severe bleeding, so it means it's bleeding profusely or it's squirting bright red blood. So we don't feel like we can control this with just direct pressure, meaning you may have already tried direct pressure, but it's bleeding really, really bad and your patient is going to bleed to death if you don't use something and you can't get a tourniquet on it. So we're gonna use our Sealox granulars to control this. Now, of course, if I was dealing with a real patient, I'd try to have some gloves on. So for the sing safe BSI Nazis out there, I do have my gloves on, simulated gloves. So this is going to be for, oh my gosh, that's a lot of blood. Can't get a tourniquet on it. And we've got to do something with it. So you've got to get the Sealox down to the source. So this is bleeding profusely. You probably do need to try to get some of the blood out of the wound so you can get this down to the artery that's bleeding. So. The best thing to do is to take a 4x4 or a gauze or a shirt or whatever you can do and try to get some of the blood out of there. That way when you pour this down, the sea locks down in there, it gets down to the source. So this has a pull tab on it, just tear it open. We blot it out and then pour it down into the source. Now this is where I would take, and I'm going to hold pressure a lot of pressure for the three to five minutes, you know, five minutes. If it's still bleeding, then we need to probably put some more pressure on it, things like that, or look at doing something else. But hold pressure for five minutes. Once your five minutes is up and you have bleeding control and you can take pressure off and you no longer have bleeding coming out of here, then you could use a pressure bandage, such as this right here, and pressure bandages up to keep holding more pressure in place. It's gotta hold everything in there. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Hope this video helped. You never know when you'll be the first responder moving the right gear and the right training. And if you wanna support this channel, go to shop.skinnymedic.com where I have first aid supplies and pre-made kits ready to go for you. Thank you. Now this does have a hemostatic agent in it. It's basically from a selfish, selfish. Now, of course, this does have a hemostatic agent inside of it that's from self shellfish.